All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dave Limino here. Uh, this video is more on how to create a AR augmented reality kind of app over an Android. This is something more towards what well, I learned, not so much of a tech tip. But if you're like me, interested in doing some augmented reality, you know, go right ahead in this video and follow the steps of what I did. All right, so right here over towards my screen, I have the Unity download. I've already downloaded this over my computer, so you just have to make sure you download the Unity. Just click choose your Unity plus download and they will just ask you to select these kind of pricing. You don't have to worry about this. All you got to do is just click on individual and just select the personal, click get started and just select download for for Windows and that will be the final thing that you have to do. I I already I have already downloaded Unity and installed it. And once you finish installing Unity, you will head on to what we call the Unity Hub. And this will allow you to select what kind of versions of the editor that you want to download. Um, I selected 2020, so you just go ahead and download it 2020. And there are a few modules that you need to add on for the AR for augmented reality. So you can just go right ahead and select Android Boot Support and select the SDK and NDK tools and tick on the Open JDK during your installation. Uh, for me, everything has been selected and installed, so that's it for me. And make sure you uh, install them in when you ever you download them into Unity. Okay, now the next thing you gotta do is head on to Wooforia. Um, just type Wooforia Developer Portal. And uh, if you haven't already, just go right ahead and register. Mine is already registered, so I will just go right ahead before you start on using Unity. Just over in the License Manager, just click Get Basic and you will be given a basic uh, licensee key. Uh, I will show you later in this part of the video what you need to do with the license key, which is this little area right here that you need to copy and paste it towards your uh, Unity engine. And then the second part is that you can add in some databases. This is where you need to add on um, if you need to add on like an image to be recognized in your AR, then it will pop up like a 3D objects into your, your applications. Uh, you can just go by clicking the add database. For me, I already have it. And this database or AR video playback that I name myself will have an image being uploaded. And that will be my picture that I uploaded for scanning. Right. At Target Manager, all you have to do is click Add Target and then just choose a single image and then you just open up whatever image that you want to upload to be recognized in your augmented reality image. And this was mine, I already uploaded. So uh, if this is your first time, just upload this and then give yourself like a file whip and then rename it to an easy name. I'm just going to go right ahead and place this as Mr. Dave Limo, which is I already done so. So this was the setting that I do it. I've done it for myself. So single image, choose the image that was in your computer. And make sure this is like a five width kind of uh, sizing. And then give yourself a name for this. And just go right ahead and click add. All right. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done this already. So what you can do. Uh, make sure you download this database once you added it. Click download database and then store it somewhere in your computer and head back to the uh, downloads, Heritage downloads and click and download this app Wuforia engine. Like I already downloaded my previously so these are the two packages that I do. This was the database or the picture that I have uploaded into the database and this was the Wuforia package. All right, that's the few things that you need to get yourself prepared. Go to your Unity Hub, and I've uh, what you can do is create a new project, and make sure you select Treaty, rename any 
uh, file name that you want to. I'm just going to read to just say AR Mr. Dave Limited because that's what I want it to be named. Okay. So just go ahead, select whatever location you want to, create a project, and just let it load. Okay, to import a package that you downloaded before it, just go right ahead, click Assets, click the Import Package, and go on to Custom Package. And then here is the Wafora package that you downloaded. Just import it, just make sure everything's selected, and click Import. All right, if they ask you to update, just click on Update. When it's finished, it's importing. To check whether it is successful, you can see that under game object, you have a Wafora engine tab available. So this has been imported. Just go right ahead and import another package that is downloaded that is for a database so that your own pictures can be included into the image. So I'm just going to write ahead and just import that little image that I have uploaded and made it as a playback. So both things are pretty important right now. And first thing that you want to do is head on to Wafora Engine, select AR Camera. All right, once that is selected, head on to the bottom right here and click Open Wafora Engine Configuration. And then here is where you need to head back to the Wafora Engine area and Go to the license manager that you just created now and copy this license key from here. Head back to the before engine, uh, before, before of configuration of Unity, and select add license right there. Now, once that's done, head to the bottom and make sure that this AR core requirement is optional and then you're good to make something already. Okay. Now first thing first, once the AR camera is set on, once you've done that, head on to the game object, go to before engine, and select a image target. Okay, now um, I know why it was blackout, it's not because of the tab was game. All right, so uh, if you like me, the game, if you are under this tab, just make sure you click the scene tab, and now the image target, double click that, you'll be able to see that the image will be this zoom. Okay, I'm gonna double click so you can see that. If this camera image logo is blocking it, just zoom it closer. And then you have this square little thing right here for the image target. Now, don't forget to click and hold and drag this image target to be a children under the AR camera. All right, so it just nest it like this. Then, on the image target, the inspector tab, head on, click from database. This will pull in the package that you just uploaded from your before database. Now, I have already have mine, which is this name, AR Video Package. And you can see this is my image that I have uploaded. Okay. Now, uh, just adjust, use these two to adjust if you want to make it look nice or to view in a certain angle that you want to. I'm doing this by right clicking my mouse and if you want to readjust and just look into positions, very some. just make it like that. I like to look at this way. So depending on what your choice is, you can just do this if you're by yourself. All right, the next step is to create a little 3D object that will appear when this image is you know, placed on right on the camera. So, okay, head on to the game object again, and this time, you know, go to the 3D objects and select whatever shape you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and select a spear. All right, a nice little spear that looks like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to make changes to this guy right here. Alright, make sure that this selection tool does move to is selected so that you can drag it towards to where you want it to be. Alright, this is going to be a little tricky to move on, but no worries. 
Okay, so let's head back to the move tool, make this toward the center. Now the ball or the spear looks a little too small in my opinion, so I'm just going to go right ahead and change the sizes of the spear. Okay, I place it into position like this, somewhere in the center. And if I want to make it bigger, so let's make it bigger, X, Y, Z, make it like somewhat big. Alright, that look, looks big enough. Alright, so I'm going to just go right ahead and drag this on top so that the spear or ball appears and floating right above that picture. Alright, that's it. That's, that's, if that size is exactly what you want it to be, alright, you can always make changes to the sizing that you want to and the position you just drag and drop that X, Y, and Z corner so with the arrow with the move tool. And what you want to do right now, immediately, uh, make sure that the spear is also nested under the image target, which is like this, like a children, alright, and then head on to save okay make sure you save this project first and then head on to file click on build settings and then let's test it out over in android language so like i said in the beginning of the tutorial make sure you download the android uh, installation module add-on and then what you want to do right now is to switch platform this may take a while while it loads switching platforms. Okay, now what's gonna happen is that let's test it out over a camera or an Android phone. Okay, so I have switched, this entire program has switched to an Android kind of emulator. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit play button Okay, you can see that over on my screen that the image that I wanted to recognize is right there. I don't really have a printed out image because I don't really have a printer, but you can actually have the image over on your other phone, if you do have other phones, like myself right here. And right here you can see that the uh, camera or phone, once it detects this image, this little spear will just appear right above and on top floating of that particular image. Alright, cool isn't it? Alright, something like this. Flow thing all the way on top. <laughs> Alright, my house is a little small and messy at the same time. So yeah, right here. That spear is just floating right above that image that I want it to detect. For this part of the video, will be a day two recording because um, we're going to create an APK file, which is an installation file for the Android, and then transfer it into our Android device. And it becomes an application, then you can use that application to scan whatever AR uh, images that. We just did in a previous section. All right, now right here, uh, you need to add on a new modules by making sure you have the Microsoft Visual, Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 installed. But first, we're going to add on a C hash script to make sure that the camera of our Android device actually does the autofocus. All right, so that script is right over here to do that. I have already created the script myself, but just to let you guys know, to create a script, you can simply right click this asset folder, go over to create and just click on the C hash script. Once you do that, you'll be able to rename it. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this because we're not gonna use this, but I'm gonna just uh, show you what I have named this um, script. It is just simply camera focus for this. All right. If you have Microsoft Visual Studio installed, just double click this. You have Microsoft Studio Visual Studio comes out, and this was the. You you can just copy and paste this. I'm going to put it in a TS file right below in the description of the video. 
uh, just copy it and paste the whole thing and these codes actually help your Android device to autofocus correctly. Now once that's done, uh, when you when you copy and paste the thing, just make sure you save it before um, you close the Microsoft Studio. So this will allow Unity to compile or recompile the codes that you just did. And then time for us to place it into a APK installation file. All right. Now, first of all, just head on back to boot settings. Make sure, as previously said, make sure that you are in on the Android running environment. Select builds, and what you gotta do quickly is that just give it whatever name for the APK file. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go right ahead and just name this as my own name, Mr. Day Luminar AR, and I just save it on a desktop. Yep, just save it anywhere that you want to. I have the APK file ready and place it right here over in the folder. From now on, just make sure that you're connected to your own Android phone, to your PC. This is mine. And what I am going to do is that just now, the APK file is here. I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to head to my phone storage. I'm going to go to the phone storage and just go straight to the downloads folder and paste that APK file right in the downloads folder. Now once after you have pasted the APK file into any folder of your own Android device, for me I just place it onto the downloads folder of the phone. So I'm just going to right ahead to go to my files. So I'm going to go to my install I'm going to go to my internal storage and head on to downloads and this is where I have placed the AR file. Double click, just click that and do whatever settings that you need to do. Just allow and then click install and click install anyway, depending on whatever Android versions that you are. I'm on the Android 10, so these are the uh, directions they want. These are the instructions they have. I just click don't send this now and then just open the AR app. Okay, you can see this is the screen. Let's swipe up just to do that thing away. Click allow for the camera. Now I'm just gonna open up. Okay, now this was the image that I have. So I'm lifting up my Android phone that you can see right there, my image. And then I just use that and scan and we just made an application for the Android device. And that is the spear right on top. Okay. There is the spear right on top of the image that I just made it to recognize. All right. Now that's it ladies and gentlemen, that's it really. That's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little AR creation. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you guys can learn a great a lot of things from this video. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time.